Let's give these guys a huge round of applause. The Barclay Brass. Outstanding. I see movement outside, so we're getting close. I do want to point out a couple of things that are going to happen here in the next few days. Um, tomorrow at 11.30, we have NASA astronaut John McBride, who will be right here, giving a talk about his experience in space and exploration. Uh, John McBride will also be back on Saturday for Mars Day. And if you've never attended a family day here at the National Air and Space Museum, I really encourage you to do that. We have scientists and engineers and all kinds of people that do presentations all day long, all about Mars. One of them will be John McBride, I think that one's at 11 o'clock in the morning. And so we've got some great programming coming up over the next couple of days. Um, we've got the rover getting ready to come out. I saw movement just a minute ago. There's a lot of people with cameras outside taking pictures. And it's going to be driving right over here, so don't leave. But you guys have got the best seats in the house. Um, I want to give you a couple more uh, facts about this. This is from Kennedy. Coast tour that we're really excited to have here in the building. It is made of uh, carbon composite or aluminum and carbon fiber combinations, 23 feet long, almost 11 feet tall, and 5,500 pounds. This thing is incredible. Over 58 wheels, and we are getting close. I offered to drive it in. <laughs> Nobody really thought that was a good idea. I don't know why. Oh, everybody's scattering around out there. This thing, I can't wait. You guys up there, hey, we got people way upstairs. Please don't fall off the railing. Any questions about Mars? I'm not an expert on the rover, but I can try to answer questions if you've got them. Yeah. We have a sister with a birthday in the house. Let's get the sister with a birthday and give her out of the applause. Happy birthday from the National Air Space Museum. We brought a little here just for your birthday. <laughs> Best birthday present ever. Go tweet that. Let, while we're waiting, let me tell you a little bit about what I do here at the museum. I see, the reason I talked to all the kids earlier, I host a TV show for middle school students called STEM in 30. If you go to Twitter, it's at STEM in 30. Um, we have our first show of the season starting up on August 21st with the solar eclipse. And, uh, oh, I see it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted easily when there's a giant rover getting ready to come into the building. So when you guys see it come around the corner, let's go a little crazy, okay? Let's, let's have a huge round of applause when, when we start seeing it come around. And you guys over here are going to get to see it a little bit first. And then you guys over here are going to get to see it. Everybody's going to get to see it. Don't worry, because it's coming like right here. Any questions from online coming in? If you've got questions online, submit them. We'll answer them. Another question over here. Did Earth split up into Mars? I don't believe so. That's a good question and you know. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I know some of you guys are seeing it coming in. Let's cheer this thing on as it comes in. This is the Mars Concept Vehicle from Kennedy Space Center, weighing in at 5,500 pounds, 23 feet long, almost 11 feet tall, 50-inch wheels that they wouldn't let me drive. Our deputy director is giving it a once over before it comes in the building.
I don't think this thing's going to have any trouble dealing with the tile floor. It's designed to go into the Martian landscape of dunes and craters and rocks. Electric power. The doors on the museum open 20 wide and allow the 13 foot wide motor to come in. Thank you for tuning in. If you don't get a good view of it today, it'll be here for the next couple of days. Be sure to come back on Saturday for Mars Day. Or tomorrow we'll have astronaut John McBride at 11.30 in the morning doing a presentation right over here.